Hello, everybody. It's Jess here with Blush Jess. Okay, my husband, David. Yay, yeah, everybody. Best Jen here. Hey guys. Okay, so I have an apology to make. We do, used to do these every single month. This is our Universal Yums taste test. If you don't know what Universal Yums is, they basically send you, as a company, as a subscription-based company, where they send you a box of goodies, a box of snacks from a different country every month. We've done it for almost two years now, Yeah, which is crazy. And we always do a review for you guys. However, we have missed the last three months because I've we've had a lot of life going on. <laughs> they were just saving it for when I was. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So now she gets to do it with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Morning sickness and trying like strange and moving snacks. apartments and Doesn't church, really... church work, all the other stuff we have going on. So, so we're happy to kind of catch up with you guys here. And today we're going to Greece, the birthplace of democracy. Okay. So we have like six or seven snacks in here. We do have a referral code. If you want to try, I think it gets you a few dollars off. We'll leave that referral link in the description box and you can um, get your own box. It won't be this one. It'll be the next month's. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you ever stuck to a subscription over two years? This is something that we should tell for. you something about we this. We paid for it all on our own. It's not sponsored. And it's for the smallest box. This is what we get. It's 14 dollars a month that's right shipping's included i feel like it's just a fun like date night kind of thing for sure and we've had a lot of laughs you guys probably remember the ham <laughs> chips the haggis chips was the mastic candy mastic candy from turkey <laughs> yeah it's been interesting let's just get ready to have some fun jen yeah she doesn't know I'm what excited. she's in for she never doesn't know what she's in for watched but, them and never participated in one yeah and i feel like greece i mean come on we're starting it can't be too bad right what's everybody's feel on greek food I like Greek food. I, I've never had a lot I haven't of had it. enough of it to I know. I love Greek food, yeah. actually. I haven't so, had enough of it to know. This might be different. Yeah. Snacks, <laughs> I have a feeling. Packaged snacks are not like having a restaurant meal. All right. Okay, so. I'm going to read a little description over each product that we're going to do. Jessica's going to pull them out as we go. Okay. There's all kinds of stuff in here, like trivia, little games, mm -hmm. fun facts. But let's get right to the food. Okay. First thing we're pulling out is this Oriental Saragli. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. This is a syrupy phyllo dough pastry with almonds and walnuts. I don't think they can see too good because I'm really far away. You can put a picture on the screen. Yeah, we can do. Well, you can once put, I open it, we can't do it. Yeah, I'm sure you can Google every one of these and put a picture on the screen. All right. While exploring Greece, there are a few things you have to do. You got to go see the Parthenon, soak up the sun on a white sand beach, yeah. and try baklava. No, we're not kidding. Baklava, baklava. is nothing. <laughs> Baklava. I can I say baklava. Yeah, you said baklava. <laughs> Who cares? It's nothing short of a national treasure. You'd be mm -hmm. hard pressed to find a single Greek celebration, be it a wedding, holiday dinner, or a birthday party, without baklava. a platter baklava. of the syrupy yes. nut sweet front and center. So it seems like a baklava that's rolled up. This version yeah. takes all the elements of an original baklava, <laughs> flaky uh, dough, buttery syrup, almonds, and okay, walnuts, and puts them into an oh so cute roll, creating the perfect party treat. Let oh, yeah. the good Bring times roll. I'll just bite it. And and then hand him my oh. bit and piece. I'll just break it in. Oh, oh okay. It's, it's very sweet. Hey, it's split. Okay. So oh, man. I got too big of a bite. It is sweet. Wow, that's good, though. Mm. Syrupy, nutty. Honey flavor. Mm-hmm. I got too much, though. <laughs> I'll make it a small bite, and then it all broke off. That mouth. syrup is delicious. It's good. Okay, it's very good. We always, wait, we always rate these things mm. on a scale of one to five. I'm going four on that. I'll say four. So five being the best you've ever had, one being you hate it, you never know how to do it. Right. It's like a four and a half. That's mm -hmm. really good. That was good. Okay, mm -hmm. that was good. Starting out strong with grease. Next, pull out these. Okay. These are Kristinaki pesto basil, Ooh. which are pesto, which are basil pesto breadsticks. Open this bag and you'll instantly notice one oh, thing, the unmistakable scent of basil. That's likely what Alexander basil. the Great noticed too. When he first discovered basil dotting the landscape of this newly conquered territory. Um, Ooh, it smells like a, oh, oh, it smells so good. Smell it. Oh, it wow. It like pesto. Yeah. Basil, com <laughs> basil comes from the Greek word baskilon pluton, which means royal plant. It's even said that they use the herb in a more unconventional way, perfume. I love the smell of basil. I don't know if I'd want, want, want to smell like it. Honey, you smell like basil. Pesto. <laughs> okay. Mm, really good. Mm. I like how when you bite it, the mm. seasoning mm. becomes blended mm. with everything else. These are amazing. Okay. Ma'am. Mm. 
but it's the, like the a more, crunchy breadstick. But the more you chew it, do you are y'all sensing that little bit of? I think it's like an olive oil or something. Yeah. There's a little I'm gonna call it sort of aftertaste. Yeah. So I would probably say a four, but I'm it's still, really good. I'm still I'm gonna go three. I'm gonna say four. Okay. As well, I could eat those. Yeah, those are good. Okay. Go these next. Okay. Serenata fingers. These are milk chocolate coated Ooh, wafers with a good. cocoa cream filling. Oh, I'm sorry, slacking. Obsessed with wafers? We sure are. Fun fact: Jen doesn't like wafers. What? Uh, well, it's not my favorite. <laughs> But this month, we're even more excited than usual because Greece is where wafers were invented. Oh, I didn't know that. Ancient Yay. Greeks first started cooking up the treats and called them oviejos. They would pour batter between two hot plates, attach them to wooden sticks, think of it like two waffle irons, cook the wafers to perfection, and then top them with herbs and cheese. With four crispy wafers slattered in cocoa cream coated in rich chocolate and dribbled and these and drizzled even more chocolate, it's hard to imagine Greece ever improving on this recipe, but you'll have to wait and see. Okay. Mm, good chocolate. That is delicious. Mm. That is very, very good. Wow. I mean, it's, it's like a wafer cookie that has chocolate all over it's not, it. It's not hard like a Kit Kat. It's very, yeah. very crumbly. And the cream really adds a nice touch to it. So I'm not a wafer fan. But? But actually, these are really good because... Like you said, like a Kit Kat, it's it's crunchier. Yeah, you yeah. can you can snap it's a Kit Kat. It just sort of almost like falls apart in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Really that's that's a five. That's a yes. five for me. That's yeah. a five. That's good. I'll say a four only because because the way for kind of flavor to it. She I will say I will say <laughs> I'll go in the middle and say four and a half. It was good. Does everybody need a drink? Okay, a little drink. All right. Okay. All right. What are we doing next? The chips. Ooh, oregano. I know what oregano means in Greek. Joy of the mountain. Nice. Really? Yes. So these are Tata's chips oregano, which are oregano potato chips. You want to show them? Let's oh, see here. Still slack. <laughs> if you end up going gaga over these Greek yeah. potato chips, you'll have one person to thank. Ionis, I'm not going to say that last name. <laughs> The first prime minister of Greece. In addition to building schools, preparing the country for democracy, and creating jobs for women, he was also a diehard supporter of the potato. Uh, lo and behold, that got Greeks interested. Local farmers convinced that potatoes were valuable. They started stealing them, and before long, the potato was spread countrywide. Interesting. Okay, let's see here. It's a potato chip with oregano. That's good. That's basically what it is. It's a potato chip. I think it's like mind blowing. Dusted in oregano. Yeah, it's good. It's I'd good. say a three. Though. I'll go three. Yeah, three. I mean, it was nothing bad, but it yeah. just. I mean, good. it's. it's I a, would eat them, but I yeah. know it's not something I'd be like. I want to go to the store and buy this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a potato chip dusted in oregano. Yeah. And the oregano <laughs> is not is. super <laughs> strong. It's just kind of like a light. I was waiting for something like, "Whoa, there's that in there too." Layla's but... making noises under the table. She's very She's jealous. Okay. You want some oregano chips, Layla? Okay, agrees is not. Being mm -hmm. bad to us. Okay. This is oh. Master Colero, which are soft wheat cookies with a great musk flavor. Musk? Must. Must. With great must flavor, whatever that is. You don't often use the word musty to describe good things, usually when it refers to an old basement or someone's dirty socks, but we've found an exception. Oh, no. These cookies are musty for a reason. They're oh, made no. with actual grape oh. must. What is a must? Not okay, good. listen, listen. Must is a thick mixture containing the freshly pressed juice, skin, seeds, and stems of the grape, usually prepared in the first step in the wine process. You could also say that must is a must for wine making. Uh, so then, what I'm they scared. so then they touch the it has a touch of cinnamon and a sweet so base I sweet. Hmm. I don't want okay. To it's not like must. It's not like a horrendous like smell, funky? but it's not a it great. It smells like smell. gingerbread. Okay, well, with a fermented scent. That would be the great must. Okay, it's not terrible. It's just not. I don't. The grape cutting through it is weird. It's not. <laughs> it's really not good. It's not sweet either. No. And I don't really like grape. Um. The must. I don't. It it's, it tastes like gingerbread with this grape overtone that won't leave. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm gonna say a two because it's yeah. definitely. I don't think like. Unedible, like the worst thing ever, but it's not. 
We took, no, we, took, we, took, we, took we, we took communion in <laughs> church the, this morning. That grape sits, juice is over this. The lot, the lot, the longer it sits in my mouth, yeah. like the flavor is getting worse. Yeah, there definitely is like a gingery. Yeah. It, it literally tastes like you took a piece of gingerbread and dumped it in grape juice. But That's I what wish, it tastes like. Maybe if it was a little sweeter, it would help me, but maybe. it's not sweet. And I think the texture too. I, I almost feel like yeah. if it was like an actual crunchy, like hard, crunchy cookie, Agreed. it would be a little bit Soft better. And Agreed. like, I did not like that. I agree. I'm going to say a I'm gonna say it too, just because there's been worse things, but uh, I, I would I couldn't eat any more of it. Everybody get a drink. That I like a one that, is that, something I, I I'm gonna like want to spit out. Yeah, I mean we've hit zeros before, but we've yeah. hit negative. I think I said negative 100 one time. On the ham chips. <laughs> ham chips <laughs> and the haggis. Yeah, the haggis chips. No. Okay. Well, that was All gross. Right. That was gross. Now we're gonna come over. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, to the Serenata Triple Hazelnut. Ooh. Ooh, hazelnut. Milk oh, chocolate gosh. coated wow, hazelnut <laughs> topped wafer and green filling. Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Them and their wafers. Wouldn't it be cool if this deliciously Hopefully, creamy chocolatey, oh so hazelnutty wafer it's had healing melty. powers? I know. If you ask an Aiken Greek, they say it does. According to Discocrates, a famous <laughs> Greek did. botanist yeah. physician, why am I even reading if they're just going to talk? I'm sorry. A famous Greek botanist physician and author of Medicinal <laughs> Encyclopedia used for Ooh. thousands of years, hazelnuts didn't oh, just gosh. cure nuts. Nut cravings, they cure tons of common ailments. So if you want to cure a lot of common cold ailments, then eat mm -hmm. hazelnuts, I guess. Oh, this is a big old, it has like big pieces of hazelnut in it. It's got whole hazelnuts, mm -hmm. a rich chocolate like coating, and it even cures the most colossal like sweet tooth, just what the doctor this ordered. like Nutella. Yes. I love the whole hazelnuts. Mm. That's good. How great <laughs> is our God. That's really good. Mm -hmm. The hazelnut in there. Seriously, too. guys. This is one of the best things we've ever had in a box. Really? Yes. It's good. I love hazelnut flavored anything, and this is delicious. It's not just flavored, too. I like the whole, mm -hmm. like, it's nut. It's got the whole nut in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. It's like a Very big good. nut. <laughs> mm. This should be an American candy bar. Oh, that's good. This is delicious. That's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that's five. A, that's a solid five. Yeah. yeah. Say five on that. Okay. All right, what we have left is the buy. bag. Okay. So this is the yum bag, and it says grease then and now. What's the first? The first are the Frugelli pomegranate jelly flavored candies. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're very jellyish. And then the other one are the Cocos Ulzos, which are hard candy. Oh. Hmm. They are, they contain sugar, corn syrup, and natural flavors, and the Uzo gummies. Flavor? Uzo flavor. Uzo. Okay, I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let you try that one. Why? We have two, and I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want that. Yeah. Okay, but we can share this one. Let's. let's okay, yeah, share let's, let's start there. The jelly one. The jelly one. Start the jelly one. Okay, it looks, who's sharing the jelly one? You eat that one, and oh. we'll share this one. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a like a jelly. Smells good. No. <laughs> <laughs> and no. That's well, good. Pomegranate. Mm, that's really good. Is that what pomegranate tastes like? Mm. Mm, that's really good. It's really good. Is that what pomegranate tastes like? Well, I mean, yeah, it's a flavor. flavor. With less sugar? <laughs> yeah. That's mm -hmm. good. Okay. Mm. That's really good. That's a five. Okay, so yeah, the next one, one. Um, the, all are going to have a really fun one is the Uzo flavored. Oh. We haven't had great luck with the hard candies. What? It's black licorice. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> how, how bad is it? Hmm? It tastes just like black licorice in a hard candy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to say something that's going to blow your mind. You don't hate it? If black licorice is a zero, this is a two. Okay. It's better. What helps I would it? give it a five. What helps I like it? black licorice. I think what helps it is black licorice is a concentrated, thick flavor. Mm -hmm. This is not as thick. This is more like a arcing over. You know what it reminds me of, actually? It's also sweeter than black licorice. Do you know licorice. what it tastes like? Think of a hard version of a black jelly bean. Okay. Yes. That's exactly what it tastes yes. like. But maybe it's yes. not quite as strong as black. I, I like black jelly beans more than black licorice. Yeah. Th that's, that's right. A, that's, that's exactly, exactly a That's a good, that's a good okay. comparison, Jen. Okay. So that, what do we all rate it? I say five. I say two. Okay. Well, not bad. <laughs> no, no, that's right. You did say that. Okay. So that's the end, but we have a clue for next month. So mm -hmm. let's read it. 
Where we're headed next, the symphonies give chills. You can hear them in the opera house, the castles, and the hills. But when you taste the yums, the music will be eclipsed by world-famous chocolates and punchy red chips. Switzerland? Opera house. Oh, Switzerland's not known for opera. Hills. I just hills. hills. Cho world-famous chocolates. Opera? The hills? Wait. Sound of Music is That's what I was just thinking of. I was going to say. Yeah. Or, or is it Austria? Is it, or is it Austria? A, well, they, is it Austria? Is it Austria for opera? Uh, Beethoven, Bach, they were Austrian. Yeah. Or was Beethoven German? Leave, leave your answer in what the comments. What <laughs> is the... We know, we know what well, we know about where we're going. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's going to be good. Yeah. Bunchy yeah. red chips. We know, know, we, know we're, we know we're going probably to Central Europe, right? In the Austria, Swiss. The hills. Yeah. The symphonies. That makes me want to break out the song. Yeah. Wait, Ger <laughs> German chocolates, Fabus. Are we going to Germany? With a sound music. Opera, though? I don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. I think we know we're going to Europe, though. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere right. good. The, these kind of places never let us down. We okay. loved, we've had Belgium before. We loved Belgium. I don't think we've ever had Switzerland. We've never had Switzerland. Okay, so if you guys want to join us on next month's, make sure you follow that link down below and get yeah. your get it. I think you can get it for just like a little bit over ten dollars for your first month. So just try it. You can cancel anytime. You don't. There's no like. But trust me, guys, it's worth the money. Yeah. And as you can tell, it's a lot of fun to do it. It's a lot of fun. You can get your family together, and I'll try it. I know mm -hmm. a lot of you say you watch with us and your families, and I just love that. It's like we're all doing it together. So. I have an idea. If you follow us on Instagram, mm, then I encourage you guys, when you, when you get your Yum Box, take some pictures or short video clips of eating these products and post them to our Instagrams. We would fun. love to see these yeah, things. Yeah, I'd love to see what you guys think. Yeah. I loved hearing in your comments, too, like what you thought of everything. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? Leave it in the comments down below. Absolutely. All the things, you know, like the video, subscribe, all of it, so that you don't miss out on anything else. Absolutely. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.